pockets filled with money, these young people are seeking dangerous thrills and excitement in semi-darkened taverns, where jukeboxes and dance floors often lead to trouble. I'm opposed to liquor by the drink, because I've lived in Atlanta, and I don't want a bar on every street corner in our town. I was living in Devil Town. I didn't know it was Devil Town. Oh, Lord, it really brings me down about the Devil Town. history. Today's taverns, though much more modern, strive to live up to the reputation established by the famous places of the past. sit around and think. should be a friendly place 
where people can relax, discuss issues of the day, and enjoy sparkling malt beverages. Clay gets up and he walks around. Well, I wouldn't believe it. In spite of their good intentions, these young people often find themselves in dangerous situations during their leisure time. Hope you like a mother would, like a boy's know. Somebody should, yeah, all the tomorrow. It don't look that good. Well, it just goes to show, though people say we're in. for the community. Its owner, he's just another good American. He knows that he and his operation reflect on the whole brewing industry. He wants to keep that reflection a good one. I'm all for civil liberties and everything, but I feel more comfortable with that camera outside. Here, I'll just remove the lens. There. Now I can't take any pictures. That's not gonna cut it. The camera has got to go. Hey, I'd feel better if that camera was out in the car. <laughs> you might call that hospitality. That's especially important when it comes to serving members of the armed forces. Whether they be from a nearby post, just passing through, or residents of the community on leave. Thank you. 